say, I don't mean to interrupt, but um, Erica just walked in the building. It's real big in here. Y'all give it up for Erica Banks. Flow queen, flow queen. It uh, is. Oh. It's it's Tito's. You good with that? I love Tito's. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Hello, friend. How you doing? We okay. love Erica. We go. We go way back. Yeah. We 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 way back. back. Yeah. Erica, let me get you some drink, please, please, please. Erica made her first appearance on the Big Homies House in 2020, June 2020. Know, right? It's been a whole. Y'all been getting too famous for me. Ooh. Y'all. I ain't seen y'all since goddamn I got off the table. I ain't seen y'all since then. Ah. Shit. Now minute. since you got off the table, you play too much. The last time I see you. Erica, it's, it's big now. It's, it's heavy. Okay, baby, 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 baby. What y'all was in here talking about? What's going on? What's no, we was talking about uh, we was talking about new releases, and it's appropriate that you just popped up because ain't got time. Hello. Listen, I ain't, ain't got, got time. time. Y'all give it up one time for ain't got time. Yes, yes. indeed. Yeah, I ain't got time for y'all not to be streaming my song. Hello, I'm gonna just start there. I played it five times this morning before I got here. You know what? That's same. why you my cousin. Yes, sir. Ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie either. You know what? Let lying. me let me go ahead and say this while I'm right here too. I appreciate everybody, each and every one of you that is here. Y'all did not have to be here, but y'all made time to be here. I love the intimacy. I love that I can see everybody's face. And uh, I'm the motherfucking flow queen. What we doing? Hello. (laughs) So, okay. So before we drop it, is there anything you want to say to everyone that's here, the people who's watching about this track, like what inspired it and anything like that? Um. Why I didn't even see the camera? Okay. Hello, boom. Girl, the, let me talk this boom. way. The track is giving real cascade, skate town vibes. Yes, yeah. yes. It's giving pop. It's giving pop, pop. baby. I mean, you I know. I see you in your bag. You know. Really, with the record, I was trying to just do something different outside of club music, twerk mm-hmm. music, bust it and tooth that. You know, I love my bust it and I love my tooth that, but I wanted to do something fun, you know, so I kind of thought, what kind of music do I like? Mm-hmm. You know, and outside of club music or R&B, I like music that's fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me go through some beats and let me see what I can find. So at the time, Hank, he had sent me a pack. And typically when people send me beats, I go through them and I'll probably listen to them for like all the three seconds. I'll be like, ah, mm-mm, ah, mm-mm. you know, but this time I actually took time to listen to them and I came across the Ain't Got Time beat, which Hank had produced. And I was like, this is fun. Let me see what I can do with this. So put the vocals on it and shit, we are here now. And vocals you did put on it. But <laughs> Hanky, you know, Hanky Kodak, definitely a cheat code too. You know, Tanky is the one. You know, Hanky, Hanky is yeah. the man around town. Hanky been like, running summers for about 10 years straight. Hanky, yes. Mr. Hank, Mr. Hanky, you hear that? Exactly, okay. I had to go on and give me one. <laughs> Facts. But you know, me and Kodak was talking the other day about um, we needed a summer track. Like, mm-hmm. what is the song that we're going to be listening to, bumping, riding down, Two, what is it, 285? She's not from here, y'all. She's 285. I thought it was 288. It's 285. It's 285. Both of y'all wrong. Do it. 285. What is it? I said 285. <laughs> no, you said, yeah, you asked me 285. She said 288. What is it? It's 285. Right. Anyways, so why are you here at 285 exactly. with the Thank windows you. down? Okay, Hello? with the sun out. Capricorn okay. just arguing and it's for just no reason. Given. It's, and that's what it's giving. Capricorn. It's giving that. Do you like the song? Who? You. Do I like the song? Yeah. Yes. And You I'm think it's like an Erica Banks song or you think it's like... Different for Erica Banks. I think it's, it's a, different. It, it, let me let me go first. I think it's period. different from Erica Banks because um, first of all, like your vocals mm-hmm. on the track, and then um, how you rapped on the track. Like you had different. Like you was real like sexy on it. You mm-hmm. know, rapping yep. like, and then you got real into it like this too. <laughs> yeah, so I was just like, yeah, with the changing of the. Everybody can't do that. Everybody cannot do that. Everybody can. not no, they Everybody cannot. Can, so, so the fact that you show like some type of um verse how you say the word? Uh versatility. versatility. See, you know I can't talk. <laughs> Everybody know if you tune in to me, you know I can't talk. That's Chicago school. Sister. But uh yeah, so it just shows that a lot. So that's what I rock with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, for appreciate sure. It. Well, I'm from here. I'm from here. You know, Atlanta's known for their skates and you know, skaters and whatever. We Can you skate? Bit. Nope, not at all. 
And I didn't know <laughs> until ATL came out that <laughs> Atlanta was a skate city. Like, I didn't know that. But I seen these videos of Usher, T.I., and all these other Atlanta celebrities that hop on the skates and be doing all that. They be I want to know how to do all that. Me too. Oh, I, you got I to think learn? it's Even so my, cute. You got to learn it now. It is, but no. I do. I feel like I have to learn now. But you have to go somewhere, like, where nobody is around to do it. Because you going to fall. I would need somebody to, like, teach me. I can't go while it's active trying to yeah, get no. right. Like, you got to rent out the roller rink and that's yeah. how do that's it. That's how I got shoot a shot. You got to get behind Erica. Like, hey, I'm going to show you how to skate. Yeah. I'm <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, like, look, I'm going to show you how to do it, baby. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it. That's how yeah. they're going to be. Boy, is that your got, that, got that ass. <laughs> right, y'all is dumb. They got that ass now. Oh, my God. Now, what you think about the record? I done got off track. What you think about the record? I love it. I love it. I love it. The energy's there. It's, mm-hmm. it's def- definitely a different sound for you. So is, um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see the reaction from everybody that we can get. We're going to ask people what they think about it. But I love it. Yeah, and you're Period. reaching different markets. You know what I'm saying? Like for yeah. the music, and that's good. You know, yeah. now yeah. you're reaching different people, like not just r- hip-hop. Exactly, exactly. And so, and you know, they have certain people that listen to certain things. So then when you start, you know, putting your music out, doing other things, now you bring more listeners. Right. More fans. Right. More money. More money. Okay. Hello? Yes, indeed. Give it up for Erica Burns. Give it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm so glad. Because, I mean, when you, and I feel like it's more natural to talk about Talking to to Mike. Hello? (laughs) <laughs> That's better for y'all? Yeah. Okay, period. Well, when I just, when I make music or when artists make music, period, I think they spend a lot of time thinking, what are people going to think? You know, are they going to like this? Are they going to only listen to it one time and never listen again? Are they going to like it enough to share it? So I think about things like that when I put out music, period. Even if it's a freestyle, I'll be like, I hope they like this shit because shit, I like it, you know. And um, I just want to tell y'all why I got y'all sitting right here. Share my motherfucking song, okay? Okay, hello. <laughs> I know that's right. Okay, like whatever you're doing, because I feel like it's such a fun record and it can do so much. You can play it at the cookout. You can play it, you know, in the club. You can play it in a car. I don't think it's just a record that's limited to only, you know, certain things at certain spots. So I'm glad y'all like it. And I'm just glad that y'all are here with me today because y'all didn't have to come and y'all did. For the support of my single, you know, so it's just a big deal to me. And I have to express that to people because if y'all follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure y'all do, I don't really get on Instagram and talk. Like, I don't really go live for real. I don't really get on my story and speak. Like, I really just post my music and go. So being able to talk to y'all is like a really big thing to me. So I'm glad y'all are here. Let me ask you a question. So when you made this track, it was something different. Yes. So were you a little bit discouraged when you were in the studio making this track first? Um, honestly, on the hook, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because when I like sing or when I try to sing, I don't always get it the first couple of times. Because mm-hmm. I'm not a singer. Like I can hold a melody or a tune, but I'm not a singer, you know? Right. So it's frustrating at first because I was trying to get a certain sound and then I finally got it. And at first I was like, if I can't get this sound down to sound good enough, I'm just going to say fuck the song. Because I feel like it should have a singing hook. And then, um, like, people were referring that I just have somebody else sing the hook. And I'm like, well, no, this is my song. I don't want nobody on this song right Thanks. now. Thanks. I want to come out with it by myself first, mm-hmm. you know? But, um, yeah, other than that, like, the rapping part was a breeze, right. of course. But when I try to, like, do melodic music, it can be difficult. But I like to challenge myself. So, that being said, like, it was challenging. Um, how did you get through that process of, like, okay... Forget how I feel about how I think I sound. I'm going to just do it anyway. Like, how? what helped you to get through that? Like, break that barrier. Um, I actually was recording two years ago. And I had, like, I don't even know what to call it. It was basically like a, a session epi- camp. Uh, like a epi- session camp where, you know... People came in and like just had beats and just records, period. And so it was one R&B record that I really liked a lot, like R&B all the way through, maybe like one rap verse. And I was like, I like this song, but I don't think I can sing like this. And like the group, it was maybe like three of them. There were three singers. And they were like, well, we can help you and coach you through the singing part if you just try it. So I was like, okay, let's try it. So we in there, ah, you know, like the typical, ooh, I'm a little rusty child. But um, when we started doing that, they came in the booth with me. And as I'm singing the song and I'm trying to get it out, 
there and they're like, nope, do it again. Nope, do this with your voice. Nope, you need some tea. Nope, you need some water. And by the time I finished that damn song, you would have thought I was Alicia Keys. Okay, hello. Period. Mm. So were you actually in there recording or you were just practicing? I was actually song? recording, like real deal recording. So where the song at? I want to hear it. Send it to me. Sure will. <laughs> you want to ask her anything? Look at me. I always yeah. feel left out. <laughs> no, nah, y'all be, be vibing. I know y'all got to. No, we do. We do. Yeah. That's my girl. That's my girl. So Treacher, treacherous twins. Hello. Uh, Thank so, you. ain't got time. We talking about things we ain't got time for. You ain't got time for a lot of the, the things, the bullshit that the dudes be putting you through, right? Yes. So, what are, give me like five things that Erica Banks does not have time for in 2023. I love that. I've been expressing this all week. So number one, let me look to the camera when I say this. Number one, um, I do not have time for men with children. Mm. Um, I can't do it. You know, I don't have any kids. Me neither. Yet. So I don't want to deal with no man who has kids. They're in the way. They're a problem. Um, number two, you know, at age 24 and in the year 2023, I just don't have time for non-genuine friendships. Mm. I feel like, you know, I feel like at this point as an adult, if you do not know how to be a friend or if you would much rather not be my friend, just tell me so that I can know and can go on about my business rather than trying to figure out if you really like me as a person or not. Mm. Um, number three. Uh, I don't have time to wait more than 15 minutes on the waiter to come back with my food. <laughs> I feel like after 15 minutes, it's like, y'all being unprofessional. <laughs> 15, 15 minutes. Think about how long 15 minutes is. 15 minutes is a long time. But what you ordering? Queso dip? I mean, I'm saying like. <laughs> I mean, what you give them, 20 minutes, 25? I give them like 25 Okay, so you a little bit more patient. Nah. Than me. I'll yeah. give them 20. If I start looking around the restaurant and I see and other people that got exactly. the same thing and that I got to table, that came in after me, hold yeah. on, wait I'm a minute. A sad. They it, just got it? No, nah, what's yeah. crazy we is like, we came it. Like say, right. I, nah, like, say, say, like say we at the restaurant, right? Me and JoJo sitting next to you, we at two different tables, two different parties, right? JoJo order, same thing I order. Way to come through, I see it coming. All right, you get happy, you see your food coming. Yes. <laughs> Don't now go you get mad. food. Then you feel played. Now I gotta file a complaint. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you That's what my mama would do. Exactly. Mm. I'm, I, I'm, I'm him. Yeah, I'm one of them. Mm. Number four. <laughs> Number four would have to be something I don't have time for. Um, dishonesty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause people are still dishonest in 2023. Well, lot of your damn face and cheese and cackle and hee hee and ha ha. And I think it's very sick. So yeah, I don't have time for dishonesty. Um, the last thing being at this point in my life, period, I do not have time for negativity, negative energy, negative people, negative comments. Um, you know, I ain't said nothing crazy lately. Why? I haven't been reading the comments. Um, so yeah, those are my top five. Talk to one of our friends up here about reading comments. She be reading comments. You be responding. No, okay. I be responding. When I be responding. I, got I time, know you. Okay, I will, <laughs> but I ain't. Yeah, right, okay, because period. I be having time. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I be trying to stay out the comments. Sometimes I. Well, I feel like you got to get into a different mental space when it comes to like not looking at comments I you do like. you do because you know i think organically you're gonna want to know what people are saying especially if you're singing if you're rapping if right. you're a content creator you're gonna want to see what people are saying because you want to know if it's you know if they like it if they don't like it what you're doing wrong or mm -hmm. whatever so some so i used to think that way like i used to think like oh let me let me look but now if you're gonna look and i respond why was you looking i just be looking I so like, you gonna look and not respond? Let them just tear you down? Like you. Nah, if I see the right comment, you go. I'm gonna respond. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. What okay. I tell, yeah, what if I, I see tell the right her, comment. What I tell her is, is it'd be bad if wasn't nobody saying nothing. That's how I started looking at it. Yeah. That's how I started looking at it. Because you either gotta love it so much you're gonna tell other people how much you love it, or you about to hate it so much that you about to tell everybody how much you hate it. Either way, you about to help me grow. Yeah. And most, that's the way to look at it. Yeah, and most of the time, the comments, they be haters anyway. And you never gonna run into them in real life. Or it, they don't even be haters. They just be wanting you to, to respond, respond. So that Once they can I be like, oh my you God, know what? I love That's you. Thank you for looking thing. at my comment. That made me start responding. Like, cause I would, they would say something crazy and I would say something crazy back and they would be like, oh my God, I love you, queen. Just kidding. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And they gonna screenshot it and tag exactly. you in their story for the next exactly. week. So, exactly. I definitely had somebody do that. Who child. Nah, we're not, we not gonna talk about that now. Oh, no, we not. What happened with that? <sighs> Oh, okay. Thirsty yeah. man. It was Thirsty just somebody man. that was like clowning me. Clowning he was a me, fan. Clowning he me, clowning me, clowning me, clowning me, clowning me. I'm talking about clowning. 
morning. Because you want to give it mine. I don't know what it was for, but then when I went to the, uh, he added me in his story mm-hmm. to call me a duck. So oh. I saw it. So I went and accepted it to see him call me a duck, but then I scrolled up and he was in there. Oh my God. Video after video. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. You one of them. Missed the world around. Yeah. Okay, child. Yeah. Basically. So Erica, I got I got another question, right? So we are in uh we're approaching the fifty the date of the fifty year anniversary of hip hop. And you know, you being from the great state of Texas has a steep hip hop history. Yes. So you got anything special planned? Um, for around the time you know to celebrate the 50 years of hip hop anniversary I mean I don't have any plans as of right now I yeah. mean I haven't sat out and said I'm gonna do this this and that but I'm sure there are going to be plenty events around me that I could probably attend that I'm sure you guys will probably know about oh for sure so yeah whatever events are going on you know whatever y'all at let me know I'll come through take y'all a bottle and go on yeah mm-hmm. I like that I like that yeah <laughs> I got a question. Would you consider this track being a empowerment song? Ooh. Absolutely. And I say that with no thought because I'm saying something that everybody says. And I didn't realize that I say I ain't got time. I didn't realize I say it so much until now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's now when I say it, I think of the song and I'm like, wow, I really say this a lot. And we... The people really say it a lot too, like especially black people. Girl, I ain't got time for that. I ain't, I ain't got, got time. time. For I ain't got. Girl, ain't nobody got time for that. You Hello? know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's a very powerful statement. It's a very general statement, and it's a statement that not only women can run with, but men as well. Like I don't know what a man gonna be hollering. He ain't got time for. But I don't know. Let's ask. Well, what I ain't got time for? Yep, mm-hmm. five um, of them. Right, five right, of them. Yeah. Five of them? All right, cool. <laughs> Boom. All right, so what do men not have time for? No, what do you not have time Me? for? Yeah. Oh, gosh. He ain't got time for nothing. Um, nah, I'm, I don't got time for your, um, you telling me how you laid on your bills and we just started texting 45 minutes ago. Okay, what? you ain't got time it for bills. I always see like you run into that kind. He, like, what's what with he, that? Because that's what people he like. Think I, people that. think I have a lot more money than I have. I don't know. Maybe I just make it look good, but hey. I told you, put the shades on that black, you start acting different. Okay. Uh, what else I ain't got time for? Little Buddhas. Damn. I ain't got time okay, for you, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait a I'm sorry, Queen. I ain't got time for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Little booties Jojo matter. Kinda, Jojo be doing squats now. Jojo been doing her squats. Jojo be doing her squats now. That thing kind of little. It's, it's not, a little bit. It's not thinking. Know? It's thinking. It's this thinking. <laughs> it's, it's thinking. I'll take that. What else? I'll uh, take that. What else? Uh, little booties. That's two. That's two. Um, women who who be begging. Women who be yeah. begging. Okay. And um, you got three more. I got three more. Yeah. Uh, women that wear dirty white forces. You know I hate that. I when dudes do that we just talking about that <laughs> we was just talking about that she asked me um shy she asked me to, uh today actually she was like am i petty for not dealing with this dude i went to his crib he had some dirty dirty forces i said girl no send him to the trash no. why would you not get a new pair when they get a crease yeah. as soon as you crease them it's over with who they- even okay keep going yeah why would you oh you know that? what else women under 25 Okay. I that's, can understand that. That's yeah. four. Women under 25 is a headache. I can understand that. Um, also, women who want to date around. Excuse me? Yeah. Boy, so you want her to be your wife so love bad. Me now. Love, love, love me now. Off rip. Love me now. I'm the best. If, I, if I'm talking to you, I'm the best option on your roster. What and you need, what you need to date, you, what you you need to date around for? You have to let the woman determine or decide. Man, look. If if she, you know what I'm saying? Let, that, let, that, other man ha- let the other man have you. So, okay, so how do you find your person? Don't you date around? <sighs> no, I'm taking. Boy, please. Boy, please. I, I'm taking. I'm so... Oh, I want to punch you. You're a man. I want to punch you. No, you know what? Just I'm going to name my five. Yes. Is he lying? Yes. I'm not, oh, yeah. It's a different person so. than it was a week ago? You know who it is. Then he's lying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's infatuated right now. Kodak, okay, he get bored quick though. Kodak gets on a vert, like he gets on this this path to where he'll find somebody. He like he like us sometimes. Like you know when you find a man and you really like him, you think he's attractive, and he just you just yeah. my man, my man, my man. Yeah, that's how he be. Like instantly. Oh Lord. But I be getting bored. He don't even get that's all it be. He be bored. Because he don't even give out that energy. No, he a Leo. He's very like emotional. He, Is he? Yeah. That's why he drank it's in the club. Is like some Leos this. in here? Come on, Johnny. Yeah, they, I he, heard the fuck out he of that. He looking for love. 
He looking for oh, love I'm trying to get on married. the first But see, the last first time date. I talked to y'all, he was looking for a hoe. It, uh, you see what I'm saying? Ain't that something? So he we not supposed is. to evolve and get, get we not supposed to evolve and get better. So women not supposed Jeez. to date around? No, you not. Love me today. Listen, let me tell you this. <laughs> Kodak meet a he said he taking a day he meet a whole t- a whole tomorrow mm-hmm. guess we gonna be doing no 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 oh, that's right? not what I said exactly. that's not what I said I said Clarify what I said what was said. It, listen and you, and you guys can can chime in on this as well I said if I find the love of my life and SZA hit my line baby that's SZA I'll be back Bro, <laughs> I'll be back. Am I wrong? Am I That's wrong? That's a fucked up ass shit. Yes, I'm, you I'm are. fucked up. For, I'm a fucked so up individual for that. So let's say the girl you like though has like a nope. beautiful person. Nope. <laughs> uh, and a fat ass. Uh huh. Yeah. Now I'm listening. And a yeah. BBL. <laughs> if sh- it depends, <laughs> it depends, it depends, it depends. Depend. Okay, look, since you I want to say my what I ain't got time. What for? You ain't got oh time yes, for? come on, come oh, on. Oh, this about to be fun. Get Ooh. your cameras out. <laughs> what I ain't got time for? I ain't got time. For no liar, no lying ass person. I'm gonna say person, yeah, so we can keep this uh, PG. PG. We love no lying ass person. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for no baby mama drama. Okay. Okay. Can I get an amen? Not your amen. amen. Not, Definitely ain't got time for that. Okay. These um, people, Jojo. I ain't got time <laughs> for a dude wasting my time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Don't be in my DMs and my messages saying I want. Oh, I'm, I, I want. This is what I want. You this. You this. This is and making no effort. I ain't got time. Um, what else I ain't got time for? I ain't got time for a dude. All he want to do is go outside. Okay. You I be don't outside. have time. Okay, if but I'm she's working. a working girl. Thank you. You, 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 you working. You going outside tonight? Because I'm with Erica. What you uh, got though? She got time for me. Hello. Crazy. Thank you. But what I ain't got time for is a man. All he want to do is be outside. Because what you outside for? I'm in the house. Why you outside? What you looking for? Because I'm inside. Mm. Okay. And I think I got one more. Purr. Come on. Hmm. Come on. What I really, really ain't got time for. You ain't got time. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't got time for a dude that ain't got. Ooh, this tough. Damn. Yeah. Come on. I ain't got, got time no for an no insecure dude. Top of the line. Like don't don't what? pour your problems on me because you feel like you can't withhold and withstand. I ain't got time. Go- okay. Hello. Dudes only be like that when they like get with somebody. Like if you his first baddie, yeah, he about to be insecure. I don't know. I it don't know. It ain't even about that. Like yeah. You know? If I'm bad and I'm loyal, what you insecure right. about? Right. If I'm loving you and coming home to you and passing up all these dudes for you, why are you upset? I'm just saying, I'm don't gonna, go through my because they, they look don't go through my answer, DMs. Want me to answer that question? Yes. L- listen, we could be together 23 hours of the day. That 24th hour, I'm thinking, and we not together, she riding a nigga dick right now. You know what that's called? Insecure. Insecure. Yes. I'm not saying I do that. I'm saying that's what men be thinking. I be what thinking do you that think women think? So what you talking to her for if you thinking that? Right. I gotta keep you at home, boy. You try to keep you at home, but your ass ain't even at home. You gonna just have a lose win situation, whatever it end up being. It's just gonna be lose win. It's gonna nah, be I'm, half, su- half. I'm secure. I'm secure because I ain't. I ain't worried about you it. You should be. You should yeah. be. That's because Kodak. Him. He be in the house, so his girl is gonna have to like automatically be in the house too. You know, I'm learning that he's a lot more conservative than I thought. Yeah, which is great. That's why I love I'm like we get on man. here and we talk, and he be like, "Yeah, he's yeah, not a yeah, he's not a family man." Bullshit. That's all he talk about. It just hit, I his, love, hit his, I, ass, ass, his ass, ass, hit his ass. Wrong. I be talking I about ass, 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 ass. I, I, don't get, I don't care about titties. I'm not no titty man. Ass, 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 ass. I love a, I love on, a big, I, I love a big old fat booty. Okay. Okay. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually pretty disgusting if you. Wow. He just goes. I bet you. I bet you would think that flapjack. You know, I'm joking. Uh-huh. I thought I was oh thinking. Oh my goodness. It was thinking. It's I not thinking. It's just thinking. Thinking. But thinking. you know what? It might have been thinking for you. Ooh, but but it's thinking for somebody. Hello. Say something to somebody. Okay. Well. <laughs> now that's the one. Okay, yeah, because that's those those He's are the things mess. that I ain't got I ain't got time for. You had a good list. You had a great list. That was a that was a list. So yeah. um if you're watching this right now, <clears throat> I ain't got time. Okay. <laughs> and she's not gonna say it again. It ain't. What you got? Um so, um, Erica, you know, right now versus 10 years ago in hip hop, you know, women are really like up. It's a lot of great women doing great things. But mm-hmm. do you think like the 
female rap lane may be oversaturated at this point? Or do you think there's something for everybody? Hmm. I mean, everything isn't for everybody. So mm. I can't I can't say that it's for everybody, but I also can't say that it's oversaturated because it's a lot of us, but I don't think it's so many of us to the point to where you can't listen to all of us. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that. I feel like it's a great number, though. I feel like you have a lot of options, mm -hmm. but do I feel like it's oversaturated? I don't feel like that, but I just do know everybody or a lot of women are starting to come in and be like, Okay, I'm really finna do this because it really can be done. So yeah. I think, you know, with women just seeing a lot of women make it has inspired them too to be like, okay, I'm about to try this shit. Yeah, I, yeah that's a great answer. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like there's no such thing as oversaturation when it comes to women and anything. Because at the end of the day, um, we are, we taking over, honestly. Yeah. And once everybody just gets the hang of that, then I think everything will be okay and it won't be like a competition because to be honest, I, I personally feel like there are way more female artists than there are male right now. That was going to be my right next now? question. Are, are women right, right now? Are women you think more women than men? That's popping? Okay, let's name the dudes that's popping right now. We're we not going to name all of them. So if we don't say you, that doesn't mean you ain't popping. We just give Period. examples. Come men. on. Let's say what? That's that's dropping right now at this moment. Okay, see, I was thinking just in general. You you thinking like there's dropping music I'm like right now because it's like a like current. Oh, yeah, current it's like a revolution. You know, things are like changing. still kind of new. Mm -hmm. Do you think evolution. do you think women are running rap right now? Absolutely, I think so. Absolutely. If we say running rap, running rap, yeah, I say women are running I say rap, rap right now. And I say I say the music industry in general. The music industry, in music industry in general. No, they got R and B on Choco. Yeah, like it's so, and there's so many. It's we so need many Frank Ocean back bad. Okay. Where is him. Frank Ocean? I don't okay. know. We need to find him. He gonna be at Coachella. He gonna be he at Coachella. Okay, what? You. Oh, he is dropping uh, Nostalgia Ultra on streamers. I know that he gonna be at Coachella. Okay, is you gonna be at Coachella? Mm. Uh, okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. I can't disclose that. I can't disclose that. Uh, okay, I heard that. The flight has it. been purchased. She out of here. Now, why would you say that? Because he's full of shit. <laughs> he just, I literally just said I can't disclose he say that. Her anything. flight has been purchased. She's shit, out I, here, shit right? I hope you're not about to be out of here. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, Kodak. I'm a lie. Oh. Y'all have a mess. Yeah, we are. We are a mess. Especially him. But we love you. For I love y'all. sure. No, we yeah. definitely love and support everything that you got going on. So why would you not Biggie? come support my single at the club? Like, I don't understand. I, I, I will put... I will. Now, why are you not coming to support my single? Uh, I, support damn, I, your, I, support your sing, I support your single, sweetie. I love uh -uh. it. I love Call it. That. You said you coming to the club. You know what? Like, you know why? Because every Friday I go home and be with my mama. And you want to look me in my eyes with them shades no, on. No, he for that. real. He for real? Yeah. I go Where home. your mama stay at? College Park. Okay. He, he go to College Park every Friday? That's yep. why I said, like, Kodak be trying to act like whatever, but he really a lover This boy. is not an So act. he really be putting on the front. It don't be a front like he be meaning it, but deep down, I'm really a mean person. He really no deep like down. A, you're a family man and you love everybody. Exactly. And I love if God. You're looking for love, you love. Please God. slide in Kodak's DM. No, you don't. At the big homie Kodak with Take a Q, it. not a K. Take it. Bruh, she said taking you your lied. ass to your mama house because your ass ain't taking okay. none. Okay. You so mean. No, I'm she's so honest. Thank you. Oh my it's a difference. Yeah. Okay, so. Cause you know we're gonna be up here and we're gonna talk all day. And I know. We'll go. Come, yeah, I we know. we gonna go. So we we know Erica. We they go way back, you know, but me and Erica, we go way back too, goddammit. it. Yes, we do. Yeah, so we yes, we, we do. really Eric locked in. So we're gonna get up here and we're gonna talk a whole lot of shit. We Okay. This is this is really like like very, very what's the word? This is very sweet and nice compared to how they normally talk. So I'm glad that they today <laughs> are behaving with such Great personality and great choices of words. I really okay, love that for y'all. Because love. Hey, man, we had to clean it up. You know, we got all these. Yes. How you know this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> But, okay, is there anything else that you want to tell, you know, your fans, your listeners, the people in the audience? 
Yes, I'm going to tell y'all one more time before I pass around the bottle two more times to y'all that I appreciate y'all for coming out. I appreciate y'all for supporting the single, share the single. I'm not sure if y'all are TikTok savvy. I'm not just yet. I be on TikTok, but I have not mastered it to where I just can make up dances and shit all the time. So if that's y'all shit, if that's y'all lane, listen, make up a challenge, send it to me. Hell, teach me how to goddamn do it. And, um, you know, just keep supporting the record. I appreciate y'all entirely. If you want to take a picture, I'm here. Video drop whatever you need I'm here let's do it is y'all being messy in front of me yeah that um, is well before we before we do that yeah let's let's ask a couple uh, crowd questions maybe okay let's do it okay hold I'm on let, we, let leave. before we ask before we open up for, for media crowd questions please do not be crazy it's a cool vibe. Don't be crazy, y'all. We're not crazy. asking no crazy please. questions. We're not asking no... We're not trying to go viral up yeah. here, please. Because if you ask something crazy, we're going to choke slam you. Well, Ooh, we ain't going to do all that, but we just not going to respond. <laughs> when I say we, I mean she. Because I ain't going to allow her to. And neither is her publicist. We're about to bully you. <laughs> Period. <laughs> They're the biggest bullies I know. I love that. We're going to bully you if you ask something so crazy. So is there anyone that may want to start it off that have a question? Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Um, honestly, I think that because I was speaking about it earlier, you know, like on the Internet, you see one thing, but in real life, it's a different thing. So when I first started, like being attacked so much in the media, I used to like fear doing shows like when I was still get books, I was like, is that going to rock with me? Like, or is they going to not hate me? Is they going to boo me? Because of what I said? Like, I used to think that. But when I would go out and still do shows and just go out in public, people would still love me and show me love and cheer me on and give me a hug. And you know what I'm saying? So with that and with my support system outside of the internet, like the people around me outside of work, like my family, you know, my hairstylist, like my manager, these people are people I see every day. So with that moral support and then the support of outside versus Instagram, it really just drove me to believe that this is just the internet. So when you can separate the internet from real life, it's really easy to just let people do whatever they want to do on the internet. When we say the internet, not a real place, that's exactly what we mean. It's really not. There's people on the internet, it's an echo chamber. <laughs> hey, girl. Great question. Um. Well, me, I've just always been the type of person to just do what the hell I want to do. That's with anything, not even just with music. If, like Vance said, my manager say today, hey, EB, we got this going on, or we need you to do this, and I'd be like, man, I'm not fucking with that. It ain't even got to be no music. I'm not going. So with that, I just always do what I want to do. And I bring it back to music and it reflects on my music because I'm going to make the kind of music that I like. I'm going to make the kind of music that I feel like I want to give to my fans. I never base it off of um, this girl's song or this girl's project or this girl's look. Because if I do that, then I'm walking into being hurt. You know what I'm saying? So I just focus on me and I just stay true to myself. And I don't really even get too many opinions about my music. I don't even really ask around like, you like this, you like this. I used to do that when I first started, but now I don't even really ask if people like it. I just put my shit out and just hope they like it. So per. I love that. Yep. Any other questions? Period. Me getting outside of Dallas beats or my Dallas sound. Cause when I first came out, I had like a rough Dallas sound. And now if you compare it to Ain't Got Time or even if you compare it to Bust It and Toot That, it's totally different. You know, um, my favorite song from the Eric Banks Project was actually Married. Married is, you know, very lyrical. It's very hardcore. And, you know, just growing as an artist, you want to continue to make better music. So it's like, how can I make this better than the last song? Okay, a different beat or a different melody or a different producer. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about just growth for me. Let me ask you this, though, Erica. I want to piggyback off that. Um, for people who have been a fan of yours since you came out, um, and then you came out with this track, which is totally different. Mm -hmm. Like, can you clarify, like, are you transitioning into a different type of music genre or are you just, or are you going to do both? Like, it's not like, oh, I'm switching up. Yeah. Cause so some people may think that. For me, you know, I'm a real rap bitch, you know, so I'll never get away from my roots and mm -hmm. how I started. I'm going to always be the rapper from Dallas who going to say how she feel. But with Ain't Got Time, 
I just wanted to try something different to just amuse my fans, you know, on another level mm -hmm. or to even reach a bigger fan base or reach more people. But I know if I stay inside that Dallas box, I'm not going to reach, you know, more people. But am I going to switch over eventually to a different genre or a different lane? Hell no. Am I going to continue to do records I ain't got time here and there just to sprinkle it in my catalog? Hell yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. I just want you to say that to clarify to anybody who may have thought that. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. You, nah, nah. you was going to switch over. No, we, we never like, going to go just super pop and forget about the real rap this shit. You're, you're, not doing no, you're not doing no yeehaw raps? No. <laughs> you play so much. <laughs> Ain't it? Oh, He plays so much. Do we have any more? You got a question? Okay. Um, Let me think about that. Because before I signed, me, my parents, and my attorney, well, before I signed 1501, I was ready to sign the same day without reading the contract. Okay, hello. You know, that's typically how it goes. You gotta but, be real. You know, but my parents were like, hey, let's take a look at it. Let's, you know, have someone look over it to make sure that it's okay. So I wouldn't say that there was anything in there that I did not know about typically. But when I signed with Warner, which is a major label versus the independent label, I didn't know that they get a cut of everything. Like everything. I thought it was just like the music. I ain't know they got a cut of my merch. You know, I ain't know they got a cut of, you know, anything I do outside of them that makes money. You know, so basically when you sign to a major label, any dollar you make, they're going to get something of it. And I thought they only just got the music money. But I mean, that's not a bad thing because they do get behind you. They support you. They, they you know, put, you put money platform. behind you. Yeah. yeah so they're going to help you do what you need to do. But understand with a major label, you're going to have to split everything up. Yeah, and I think I think artists get a bad rep about like, oh, you don't read your contracts. Well, last time we read that 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 agreement, Apple exactly, sent you. exactly. Apple could own all our souls right now. We oh, wouldn't we wouldn't need need to agree, agree, agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like no, for real. That could be about a lot any too. type of contract. What I didn't read the most contracts out of. You know what the one contract we did read though. Hello, hello. Give me some. <laughs> Shout out to Spencer in the back. <laughs> Thanks for that contract now. Hey, now. That we ain't read. We just signed it. Who? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm about to, you yeah, know I read it. Crazy. Any other... Uh, what that means? Send that back. Right. No facts. Any other He's questions? Go ahead. Girl, really? So Florida, the whole state of Florida shows me so much love. New York, the whole New York. I just came from New York this morning. They show so much love. Um, Who else? Florida, New York... Um, when I went to Cali on tour, they was a lot more loud than I expected. My first tour show was in LA and they had a fucking ball. So my top city, I'm not gonna even say top cities, I'm gonna say my top states are New York outside of, you know, the norm. New York, Cali, and Florida. You you had something? Um, with it being a Texas label, that was like the biggest thing for me because I felt like this is close to home. You know, I knew this label. I knew of this label already. I was kind of familiarized with them through the internet. I saw what they had done, you know, for Megan. So it was a very big deal to me. You know, it was exciting for me. And then with it not being a major label for my first sign, it just felt really safe, you know. And then just going around calling the team, because I was around the team for about a good month or two before I actually signed, because I needed to get a feel for who I'm going to be around, who am I going to be working with. So it was just, you know, a plethora of, all of those things but most importantly it was just the vibe of you know everybody when I just came around it just felt genuine for yeah. sure for sure for sure one more time questions. for Erica Banks man ain't thank got thank y'all so much Queen look I uh, you know you know Jojo you got a relationship with Jojo you got a relationship with me but I remember the first time you came yes me and Jojo are in a relationship I absolutely believe it but yes. I remember first, the first time you came <laughs> to the big homie's house you know you you, you you were young fresh in the game you know it was actually before Bussy wow, dropped wow yes I was still doing my own makeup then yes, wow yes you came in with a towel on your head yes I Oh, I was doing you some did. Dallas shit. Yeah. Oh, that's some Dallas shit. <laughs> and I just want to congratulate you on your growth. Like, I'm looking at you and I can see, like, this is back in 2020. So, the yeah. three years that's been that's passed since then, I want to congratulate you on the growth. Give you your flowers yeah. because, you know, you. It's, it's rare in this industry that you get them. It's rare oh, in this industry Lord. that you get your flowers. <laughs> She gave me mine earlier this week, so I that's did. why. I, that's sweet. That's I so did. sweet of you. But I want to give you yours for sure. You know, I, throughout everything that you experience online, people throwing hate at you, people throwing shade, you still yeah. pushing through. So I you know that. you always got I a home with you. the homies, for Showski. I love that for you. I love y'all. People want to say it. something so bad, and you just be... I 
I just be doing my thing. I love that for you. I just be doing my thing. But I mean, shit. We on year three, and I'm still up here with y'all, so that say a lot. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Erica, Erica, like, I, like I tell her, fuck them folks. Okay. Fuck them folks. So let me, okay. Is there any advice that you want to give anyone, um, an inspiring artist, um, someone who may be going through something, they, they just really want to make it, or they having people talk down on them? Mm-hmm. Like, do you have any advice for them to get through like what it is that they're going through? Um. Yes, because when I was speaking earlier... Um, cause I did a speaking event earlier where I was kind of just, you know, sharing the same kind of things. And at the end, there were a lot of people coming up to me. I'm not even knowing that they was just so in tune with what I was saying, but they were coming up to me and they were like, I'm so glad that you spoke and said what you said. It was so real. It was so honest. I feel better about, you know, my situation now. I feel like I can kind of get into it more because you shared your story. So to answer your question, if it's anybody wanted to do anything, whether it be music, whatever it is. The biggest thing for me was being patient. And I had a problem with being patient when I first started doing music because I felt like I'm so good. I should be here already. Or I should be there already. Why am I not there? I feel like I should be there. I'm so good. Mm-hmm. But right when I wanted to like quit and like give up and like go back to school, because it got to a point to where I was like, okay, I'm about to go back to college, whatever. Like two months later is when I signed with 1501. And you know, it's like it was right around the corner. So whatever you're doing, Patience is the biggest key. It could be right down the street. It could be the next page in your book. And you never know. So patience, consistency, and just being honest with yourself. Like I just, I've learned to just be real with myself. I don't wake up and say, okay, I'm going to do 10 things today. I'm going to do these 10 things today. No, I'm going to be realistic and I'm going to say, I'm going to do these five things today. Because when you make unrealistic goals and you don't reach them, then you beat yourself up. Oh my God, I'm not doing good enough. So being patient, being consistent, and being honest with yourself is going to get it. That was such good advice. Yes. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> for real. No, for real. No, for like, real. For real. Girl, for All real. Right, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, we really do appreciate you coming. You already know it's always gonna be a vibe when yes, we link yes, up, yes. and we we here we when you Girl, like if we like yeah. whatever you need. Uh, yeah, so um, we we'll really time for Erica Banks, you. man. Thank y'all.